Hey, welcome to How to Write a Novel. I'm walking through some woods, so I haven't actually done any writing since yesterday, but I thought this would just be a good time to do the podcast, because it's uh, the only quiet point in my day so far. I'm just going to find this new Airbnb that I'm moving into next week. And on the way, I can't remember what it's called, like the urban green space or something in Surrey, but it actually kind of sucks. This is really just, I had to get through a fence to get in here, and now it's literally just a forest. There's no paths or anything. It's weird. Better than nothing, I guess, but uh, this is the beginning of week eight of this podcast, and uh, so far I've been kind of surprised that I keep coming up with stuff. Like, I feel like This would probably make more sense to be a weekly podcast and it eventually will become a weekly podcast because once I finish recording the audio for my audiobook version of my last book, how cool, a dilapidated bridge over a stream. See this podcast doesn't really interfere with the time I would spend writing. So I figured why not, why not do a weird little podcast and uh, Yeah, I'm just surprised that every day I really do come up with something else to talk about. Like, I feel like this has been pretty content rich if you're interested in writing. But now, week eight, all of a sudden, I've kind of hit this point where it's like, I don't really know that I have that much to say today, (laughs) you know? I had a lot of ideas for topics that uh, ultimately I'm like, I guess they're not really that important. I feel like I've laid down the... uh, the pattern pretty well of like this has been a good little example of my approach to writing and how I handle things of just make sure you write every day don't worry if it's not that much got a solid seven weeks chronicling that so now just uh, rinse and repeat just uh, just do that till the book's done man that weird buzzing sound I really don't know what that is I mean I'm in the middle of the woods what the hell <laughs> why Why is my recorder, you hear that? Such an annoying sound. All right, let me stop this until that goes away. Okay, I think that noise went away. I wonder if that could be a uh, function of using such old equipment. Like, I'm kind of proud that I've still got this Zoom H4 that I've had for so many years and that it still works. But they don't sell the H4 anymore, it's called the H4N. And uh, who knows, maybe the H4N doesn't pick up those weird signals. I just always thought this one would break and then I would have to buy a new one and it just never broke. (laughs) So here we are. But yeah, what I was saying is eventually this podcast, I was gonna stop with the daily because while it doesn't interfere with my writing time at all, it's just separate time that I wouldn't have been writing anyway. So, you know, I might as well make this podcast instead of playing a video game or something. But when I finish recording the audio for the audiobook version of my last book, because I'm going to do a podcast, but I'm also going to do a fancy video of it on YouTube. It's a book about video games, so, uh, you know, find the footage and stuff. That's going to be a ton of work that would interfere with this. So at that point, I figured, like, oh, maybe I'll just go weekly. But really, why hold off on that idea? Like today, I just really honestly just feel like I would just be retreading stuff. Like I just don't have anything in particular to say today. (laughs) I'm still working on the same chapter I was working on yesterday. Still just grinding along. So at this point, I mean, maybe a weekly podcast just would be more beneficial all around. I think I laid the groundwork. I set forth my little manifesto of here's how I do stuff, here's what I think is cool. To just keep grinding out a podcast every day when all I have to say is uh, still just working on writing, (laughs) you know, it's a limited value. So we'll see. If uh, something hits me, if I'm like, oh, I want to talk about that, then I'll do a podcast. But if not, then I think I will just let stuff build up for a week. I will do one each week just because I do think there's value in demonstrating the grind, you know, 
showing that yes this is how to do it this is how it works you really got to just work and work and work and work consistently and never stop but that can definitely be demonstrated with uh, a weekly podcast of like here's what i did this week here's what i'm going to do next week ad infinitum because it's going to take a long goddamn time to finish this book And then maybe when the pressure torques up, like I've talked before about how when I get to the end of this book, I feel quite confident in my ability to write a cool book. But I don't feel confident in my ability to prepare and submit a manuscript and to face rejection and to, you know, send my baby off into the real world for possible, you know, rejection and mockery. So maybe at that point, like, that's when I would torque it back up to daily. And it will be literally stuff like, today I bought an envelope, (laughs) you know, tomorrow I'm going to mail this thing. Again, I don't even know if that's how it works. It might all be digital these days. But yeah, for now, I think it's uh, safe to gear down. To wait until a spark really hits me of something I want to say. Or to just gather my week's worth of activity to discuss each week. So, so that's what I'm thinking. That could be the plan. Because, yeah, also, like I've said, very small listenership to this podcast as it comes out. This will totally be uh, something that'll be more cool and more valuable, more useful as a uh, as supplementary material if this book comes out. You know, you can read the book and then you can dive into this and hear about the making of the book. I just think that's really cool. These pads are getting a little better, by the way. This, uh, these woods aren't so bad. This is one thing I like sometimes about getting an Airbnb that's uh, a little out of the way. I just do that because they're cheaper. But uh, if I have to walk through some woods before I get to the subway, like, good. <laughs> that's not a downside. I'm not in a hurry. So I like that. But to tie up the most important thread of this podcast, the Fearless series by Francine Pascal... I bailed out. Book two is too bad. Like I was saying how it's obviously written by someone else and the uh, tone is really bad and it's just really silly and dopey and I did not like it. And the whole notion of those books, right, is this girl who doesn't feel fear. And I skipped ahead to the very last book in the series, book 36, and Francine Pascal wrote a little thing about how this was based on a news story she saw about this woman who doesn't react in the normal way to fear. And no one's quite sure why. And she's like, oh, let me use that. That'd make a cool character. And I agree, that would make a cool character. But it really informs so little about this character. That in book two, it opens with an angry gang member from the first book holding a gun to our fearless protagonist's head. And all she does, all our highly trained, no fear feeling protagonist does is freeze and let the guy an extended period by the way of just like trying to talk him down and not doing anything and then the guy pulls the trigger and just by total happenstance and luck there's no bullet in the chamber and i'm like what the fuck is this this is the worst character in the world (laughs) like she's used literally none of her skills she just stood there and let herself get shot in the head and now i'm just supposed to believe that this guy fucked up and accidentally didn't load his gun (laughs) like holy fuck (laughs) it's just awful i was like i can't get out of here maybe if it was a two book series i'd fight through but that it's a 36 book series yikes real shitty so you know there's my review of the fearless series by francine pascal that's something i've often felt in a lot of ways in life is like oh i wish such and such a thing existed But it's a long wait for a train that ain't ever going to come. And uh, this is just like another example. It's like, this really is a good idea. I wish somebody would do it properly, but who is going to do it but me? Who better? Who better than Canyon? Rest in peace. Now I'm just rambling. (laughs) For Song of the Day, let's play... This is a great example of a band where I loved the one song and I tried to dig in a little and just nothing else was hitting me and it's like, even though I am not, I try not to be a one-hit wonder type person, I try not to be a shallow fan, 
I like to dig in and be like, what else you got to give me, band? But it just wasn't working. Just nothing else hit me except this one song. Whoa, shit. But uh, back in like 2012-ish, 2013 maybe, my friend Matt lived in Montreal. And we were in Montreal. We were driving to uh, this shawarma place that he really likes. <laughs> and uh, we were listening to the radio, which is not something I usually do on my own. And this song came on, it's called Inhaler by the band Foles. And it was one of those things we were just driving, chatting a bit or whatever. And just like, as the song got halfway through, we were just like, this is good, right? <laughs> this is a really cool song. I like this song. And then I went and dug it up later and yeah, it's fucking, it's great. It's a really great song. So if some uh, amazing writerly fucking wisdom comes down from the heavens, and plants itself in my brain, then uh, I will speak to you tomorrow. Jesus, I'm gonna kill myself on these fucking... Turns out the $9 shoes I got at Walmart, the treads go pretty fast <laughs> on these things. But yeah, if not, then I'll see you next week. I guess, what is it? It's uh, Monday, right? That makes sense. So there'll be an episode each Monday, and then uh, episodes in between if something cool comes to mind. Until then, this is Foles Inhaler. Mm -hmm.